Hello everyone, this is the Howling Wolf. Here gonna give you my selections for March 27th, 2012. The track that I had handicap from for you is Parks Racing over at Philadelphia. The race is gonna be race number nine. It is the leg, the leg horn stakes for $75,000 purse for Phillies and Mares, four year olds and up. This is a field of eight. The favorite here is gonna possibly be the money line favorite is the number seven high quality but my top selection here through looking through all these races is going to be the number five pilot point lady the money line odds for the one pinky pound in the board this mare is by a gold case out of a alphabet soup mare last time out this mare ran was february 11th in a mile and one eighth distance in a stakes race for eighty thousand dollars had the was in the lead that they try to stay there they try to take it from gate to wire but tired out and got bumped quite a bit there so it lost its ability and came in third by three and a, three in a and a half lengths. Time before that too, it, it did it in January uh, 31st in a mile distance and for optional claimers 40,000. Came up second, um, losing just a bit, tiring out there. Also got bumped soundly, um, was Disqualified and placed first, but actually got second. So, you know, it's going to be kind of hard here for this this mare here. Um, the, if you go back and back, it, it did run at parks at this distance, but it's for $16,000 claiming. Um, did come in fourth and all that, but it did a great rally late at this distance so the cut back a distance should help this mare out to get up there and win or hopefully even get into the money uh, the, the optional odds even too is that the plus thing is that frankie pendleton is aboard and the last time that frankie was aboard this horse it won by three lengths it drew off and was drafted out but drew up and won by three lengths there. Tired a bit, but that was at a mile distance. So the cut back in distance should help this mare out to be able to um, get up there for the money. The workouts have been from March 5th at four furlongs at 48 second breeze. That was its best of 17 there. Um, March 13th, it did another four furlongs. It did in 47.1 breezing. Um, that was its best of 37 workouts there. And then it did the last workout was March 20th at parts at four furlongs in 48 second breezing. That was its second best of 13 there. Um, I'm thinking with this a tiny bit dropping in um in class. And then the shortening back down to the distance should help this mare out. And with Frankie Pendleton back aboard, knows how they get this this mare into the winner's circle. Should win this one, clear out. If it stays up, if it doesn't try to battle it, it's, um, but this mare I think will have to do will be back a bit. You'll see it um, rallying from back around the turn there to get right aboard and get on to straighten out right from the stretch get up there for the win so again my top selection here is going to be the number five pilot point lady at four to one with frankie pendleton aboard um a long shot i have here though you may want to look out for to come into the money or even be a shocker it's going to be the number six grand kisses this philly is by a grand reward it's by Grand Reward out of a 
kissing Chris Mayer. The last time this horse ran was December 13th of last year in an optional claiming 40,000. It came in fourth by 16 lengths, um, was inside and tired. Uh, that was at six furlongs to stretch out a distance should help this mare out to come up and win. The last time this mare ran at this distance was over at Charlestown in January, in June 18th in a stakes race for 75000 and it won by a neck with Oscar Flores aboard there. It's getting Ken Carmouche on here this time. Ken Carmouche should know how to, knows how to get mares and horses into the winner circle and position it correctly. I believe if they tried to get this this filly up, stay back there too. You may even see this one up there in the money for a shocker at a good price. Um, the pace setter here may even be, I'm believing it possibly may be the number, wow. I'm probably thinking it probably will be the number three um, winning image. It would be the pace setter here. It should be a tough battle with some of these are going to try to be the pace setter and go out there to go out and win it. Um, some of them are stretching out. Some of them are shortening back up. So you, the one that you may see up there for the pace will be the number three winning image. But I'm thinking if this, if the five horse pilot Pilot Point Lady stays back if Frankie Pendleton holds it back just a bit, maybe um, staying behind it, maybe in second or third, and then right around that turn, get up there at the stretch and start urging this mare to go on, it should win. So again, you're going to have my long shot play here is Grand Kisses. My top selection here is the number five Pilot Point Lady. At 4 to 1 with Frankie Pendleton. And if you'd like to see some more of my selections, please join me at my website at www.wolveshorseracingandsports.com where you'll see some more of my selections for certain tracks and, and other things. And if you'd like to see me live, you could join me at tinychat.com slash howler92. And remember, when you're cashing with the wolf, it's howl! time. Good luck everybody and let's make some money.